I wanted to do a video on Carlos Licona, who fights at 105 and is currently the new IBF champion of the world as of Saturday, December 1st. He is uh, 23 years old, was born in Mexico City, Mexico, resides in Westminster, California, near Los Angeles. His current record is 14 0 with two knockouts, fights at 105, and fought for the IBF title at the Staples Center on the Wilder Fury PBC card. His last five fights have been on November 4th, 2017, in Tijuana versus Juan Carlos Diego, January 27, 2018, versus Efraín González, also in Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, April 7, 2018, versus Daniel Rivera in Ponce, Puerto Rico, and June 29, 2018, his opponent was Jose Eduardo Ramirez in Cancun, Mexico. He fought on Saturday, December 1st, on the Wilder Fury Showtime pay per view and defeated Mark Anthony Barriga for the IBF title in Los Angeles, California. It sounds like Carlos has been training with uh, RGBA for roughly a year. Since Robert mentioned that he fought twice in Tijuana for free before getting the huge opportunity to fight in Ponce, Puerto Rico, with the help from Cancun Promotions. To give you a little bit of the history, Carlos Licona doesn't have a uh, full-time job. He trains full-time so that his dad wants him to focus solely on boxing. They live in Orange County and make the drive daily to train in RGBA Riverside. Sometimes the uh, uh, it, it's recently revealed that sometimes the family was struggling just to cover the traveling expenses. Carlos' dad recently shared with Robert that his son would go around and pick up cans in order to recycle them, recycle them to come up with a little bit of money for the travel expenses to Riverside Daily. When Carlos Licona's dad shared this story with Robert, Robert having a property solely for the purpose of housing his fighters that are in camp, set up Carlos with a room so he could save the traveling expense money. He also shared that when new fighters arrive at RGBA, Robert on purpose doesn't put his full attention into them because he doesn't know if they are serious about their boxing careers. He waits a couple of weeks, sometimes even longer, and lets them continue to train and earn their way. Carlos Licona's dad recently confessed to Robert that when his son Carlos first started training at RGP at Riverside, he asked his dad if he should continue to train there because he wasn't getting much attention from Robert. Licona's dad told him to stick it out and be patient. Clearly the decision to stick it out and to stick it out paid off as in, in a year he won the NABO title. For well, about six to eight months he won the NABO of being with RGBA. He, he won the NABO title in Puerto Rico. And now just last weekend he won the IBF title. This Saturday. This last Saturday on the Wilder Fury Showtime Paper Green card. Robert backtracked and said on ES News that he needs to acknowledge that they got a big opportunity to fight in Puerto Rico on a Coto Promotions card where they had a big popular fighter as an opponent. Carlos was, Carlos was going into that fight as a huge underdog traveling to the opponent's backyard in Puerto Rico. Before the NABO title fight, Memo Rocha from Cancun Promotions called Robert and asked him if his 108 pounder was available. Memo asked if there was any way his fighter could make 105 in order to make the fight. Robert called Licona and asked if he could make 105. Licona replied that he could. So that reply from Carlos secured the NABO title fight for June 29th in Puerto Rico versus Jose Eduardo Ramirez. Actually, that's the, that's the mistake. That was his fighter in Cancun, Mexico. The title fight for the WBO was versus Daniel Rivera. Daniel Rivera, so I'll fix that. I'll fix that. Soon. Robert said that he trained, trained very hard, kept training, and he and Carlos goes to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, and beats the popular opponent very badly, and earned what Pita called the WBO Latino belt, and uh, it, Robert called it the NABO. After his win in Puerto Rico, the pres the WBO president Paco Valcarcel 
put Carlos Lugona as number two in the WBO rankings right away. And then the IBF ranked Carlos as well. After the June fight, they had a fight date for October, but it wasn't anything as big as the team wanted. He seeked help from his brother Mikey. Robert seeked help from his brother Mikey to secure a bigger fight. Mikey made a few calls and secured a fight in the U.S. He couldn't promise a date or an opponent, but clearly the extra two months of waiting paid off. The date Mikey helped secure ended up being one of the two biggest fight cards, in my opinion, of 2018. The heavyweight WBC championship fight between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury on Showtime pay-per-view at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. At midnight, it was uh, reported that that um, they went into the ring shortly after midnight on December 1st, technically December 2nd, at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. Carlos Mexicanito Licona became the new IBF champion of the world at the minimum weight of 105. This is a true story of holding on to your dreams. Please like and subscribe. I'm from Tail Media on YouTube, from Tail underscore media on Twitter. And from Tail Media on Instagram. Thank you for watching and 